Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely more responsive. What's up, my modest? So I actually just received a special delivery from Pedal Commander because I posted a video showing my throttle response and it was so bad to the point that they hit me up. They're just like, yo, why don't we send you one? So today I'm going to be reviewing and installing. So um, without further ado, here is the before. I have sport mode on, so I'm going to hit the pedal right now and keep an eye on the tachometer. As you can see, it's a very long delay. That packaging is amazing. So it comes in this little case and then it's gonna be a little hard to do with one hand, but here's the actual pedal commander. So you remove this, it comes with the wires and two zip ties, as well as some Velcro and some wipes and the installation guide at the bottom. So right now I'm waiting for the car to completely shut down because if you unplug the harness from the throttle sensor while there's still power, it could give you a check engine light or most likely it will. So to completely shut it off, I have my door open and my car key is inside the house at least 35 feet away. So if anyone's gonna do it, the harness is right there. So I'm gonna disconnect that and I'm gonna do it off camera because it's very hard to navigate here. Just disconnected the OEM harness and so now we have the male and the female ones right here and it's essentially just plug and play. Ah, oh, finally got them connected. My freaking back hurts. Everything is installed and the wires are tucked. Kind of, sort of. This is finally mounted. I don't really care too much about this wire because it's not invading at all. So, all that's left to do is turn the car on. Moment of truth, here we go. Oh, the lights is going! All right, so we got Eco, City, Sport, and Sport Plus. Sport Plus is the most sensitive, and I also have it tuned to the highest. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> oh it's working! So we're in the Sport Plus all the way up. Essentially, it's at the highest sensitivity right now. Oh, let me close this. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple of pulls and rev matches for you guys. It does take some getting used to because for as long as I've had this car, I've had to like practically floor it just to get some throttle response. So it is something to take note of before you end up going straight into the car right in front of you. But then again, that's what you get for turning it all the way up. So the Sport Plus is actually more to be catered for track use and I think the Sport would be the better option for me to choose because, you know, I just daily this car. I don't do anything too crazy with it. And the eco mode makes the throttle less responsive. So I can go give that a try. But um, right now I'm just gonna do a couple pulls and rev matches. Mm okay, let's get it. Okay, we're in second gear right now. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely more responsive. Okay, yeah, that's way better, way better than before. Yeah, it's, it's just instant, like, before there would be probably like half a second delay, now it's just instant. I'm gonna go ahead and try the Sport instead of the Sport Plus tuned all the way up to the highest setting. So to adjust the different modes, all you do is just press on this button and it'll switch in between these and to adjust the sensitivity, minus, plus. The green means it's four more or three more and you get it and then the red just means it's one less two less three less four less heel toe very good very good okay we are now in eco mode tuned to the high sensitivity of course this is well this is a change Okay, yeah, this is weird. Okay, so eco mode, uh, it definitely tones down the, uh, yeah, let me close my window. So eco mode definitely tones down the throttle response by a lot. It's actually a lot worse. I don't want to say worse because it was intended to do this. Yeah, it's way less responsive than the OEM throttle response. Because right now I'm in second gear. You really don't pick up speed till your foot is like 75% down to almost flooring it. But other than that, yeah, I like it. I could definitely see this for some people because me specifically, I love saving on gas just because that stuff is very expensive. But yeah, maybe it's because of my fast pace of driving. 
I'm not too much a fan of the eco mode, but it is pretty nice. It definitely keeps you within the speed limit, I will say. Back in the sport mode with the uh, plus four. So far it's looking like the regular sport mode with the plus four tuning actually seems pretty good. I think it's a good balance of fuel economy while also still being more responsive than the OEM throttle response. So I think this is my new favorite. I am back in sport plus mode without any of the plus four or minus four. So this is just the standard sport plus. It's very responsive. This would definitely be something I would use if let's say I was doing pulls or let's say I'm doing a toga run. I would definitely use this one. For daily driving, either city or sport mode with the plus four is perfect for me. Obviously, everyone has their different preferences. You can do whatever combination you want, but that's just what I found what works best for me. Please let me know if you do decide to buy one or any questions you guys have, I'll try to answer it to the best of my abilities. But right now, I am getting low on gas from doing all these pulls and such, so I'm gonna go to Costco and fill up yeah, I know Costco ain't the best quality gas, but if I'm being real, I've used Costco gas all my life and so has my family and we've never had any issues with our cars. But also, my car is stock performance wise, I guess, well, I guess technically it's not because of the pedal commander. Other than that, engine work is completely stock and I've had no problems whatsoever using Costco gas. So if you do want to try it out and you don't have a crazy build or anything, then I feel like you should be fine. But obviously if you have a very expensive build, then do whatever you think is beneficial for your car. If you guys want to cop some Modism merch, please head out to modism.com, link in the description below. We sold out of the extra larges and the larges, so all we have left are the mediums and the smalls. I'm 5'9", and I'm wearing a medium, and it fits me very nicely. I want to say these are very true to size, if not slightly small, but not too much. We also have banners for sale. We got the white in the 20 and 23 inch and we also have oil slick that is only available in 23 inch next drop we're planning on releasing some small seven or eight inch modism stickers They're about like that big so they can fit on your windows on the rear window any honestly anywhere but i don't want to give too much away right now so i'm gonna go get gas and yeah, that's basically it. What's up guys, just got back to my house right now after testing out the Pedal Commander and I got gas after. So my final thoughts on it, I would definitely like, what's the highest recommendation you can give? Like a, like a Michelin star for a restaurant, I would give a Michelin star for the Pedal Commander. If I'm being honest, I feel like this is what the SI should have been like from the factory. But now that I do have a Pedal Commander, I am absolutely stoked to drive a lot more. Um, eco mode, I will say, is a little too unresponsive for my taste, but I could see why it would appeal to some people. Personally, I like driving a little on the faster side. The cool thing about the Pedal Commander is the customization options. You have four options. There's Eco City, Sport, and Sport Plus, and you also have up to eight different sensitivity options. You can go up to four more, or you can go less than four. And I think it's very cool because it's very flexible for a lot of people, you know, it ranges from a ton of different drivers. Like I said, I love driving on the faster side. So when it comes to the city mode with the plus four option, I feel like that's what the SI was like before, if not a little better. And then the sport mode with the four plus, that's my personal favorite. I think that's like the perfect combination of better than stock while still getting great fuel economy. And then the Sport Plus, that's for the fun nights. <laughs> so like I said, it's gonna take some getting used to if you are gonna use this product, but I highly recommend it for anyone that wants to buy it. For anyone that does wanna buy it, please check the description below because I have a discount code for you guys. And without further ado, I just wanted to say, if you guys are enjoying the videos and you wanna support modism and you wanna see me mod my car a lot more, please do head on to the modism.com shop with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you guys next time.